What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's Sasha Talia. Welcome if you're new here to my channel. I hope you guys subscribe. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you did. So today's um, a video is about the October boxy charm um, that that I had received in the mail. Um, this is what the box looks like. It's still a smaller box. Next month the box will be a little bit bigger and stuff. But I figured we'd jump into the video and just try these products out and let's play with some makeup, y'all. Okay, so I took a little sneak peek of, of this month's box already. It is open says boxycharm on here and this month's theme is after dark which is very uh, fitting for this time of month so <laughs> i figured that today's video that um the products that i do have in this box that i'll just kind of like go along and kind of just start applying them to my face and yeah let's see what we got in this box so with my card, it tells me everything that I got and the prices. Um, so the first item that I did get is the Touch and Soul. Um, and this is, let's see. Um, this is a Glassy Skim Balm and this retails for $32. So this is to hydrate your skin and make it look dewy. Um, it does say to use after, um, the last step for your skincare kind of prep, your skincare routine. So let's open this bad boy up. This is, let's see, this is what the component looks like. So I've never tried anything, I don't think, from Touch and Soul. I'm not sure how to, okay. So you twist it off. Um. It has like a little fruity scent to it. Um, nothing too, too crazy or anything like that. The texture is very like weird. It feels like, like a putty kind of. That's so weird. Okay, let's apply this to the skin. Um, yeah, this is a different like texture that I've ever tried before. Let me know what you guys received in your box if you're loving this month's BoxyCharm. Um, I feel like I'm gonna really, really enjoy November's box um, because they have the Kristen Dominique um, cosmetics and everyone's getting a palette. So that's, that's super exciting that everyone's gonna get the same thing. Oh, I got some in my hair. <laughs> so this feels really nice. It feels really silky on my skin um so far so good i really like the texture of it and how it's leaving my skin feeling actually hydrating hydrated and kind of saying what it's supposed to do so that's really cool i would actually just like if i didn't want to wear foundation i probably would just wear this by itself honestly <laughs> the next thing that i got in here is a um, sponge from illuminati is that right yeah Illuminati cosmetic sponge. Um, this retails for 21 bucks. So let's open this up. Feels really tough. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and dampen my sponge and then we'll apply some foundation and see if we like it or not. Okay, so I did dampen my sponge. This thing got massive, like massive. <laughs> So I'm gonna use my um, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I'm just gonna apply that to my skin and see how this blends my foundation out. It has more, it's not as soft as a regular beauty blender. It has a certain texture to it that I'm feeling right now on my skin. Um. I do like how how big it is um, because you're you're able to cover like get your foundation on your face much faster. Wow, how much was this? Twenty one bucks. Honestly, it feels nice, but I think I prefer the actual beauty blender better compared to this one. 
because it's honestly the same price and I like the texture better. I feel like this is more, I don't know, it's spongy, but it's it has more of a, a toughness to it. So, all right, so the next item that I did get was the Laura Geller. Um, this is their Bake Gelato Swirl Illuminator. It's their highlighter. This retails for 26 bucks and I got the, um, the diamond dust one. So I've never tried this shade before. My go-to shade that I have is the Gilded Honey one. That one's like the OG shade of like the highlighters from Laura Geller. So let me get a brush and then we'll try this bad boy out. Okay. So I'm just taking a Morphe brush, an M510 brush, and I'm just gonna swirl this in there. It looks like it has a pinky purpley um, tone to it so that's definitely different for me to kind of use yeah it's definitely coming out um, with that reflect of a um, pink and purpley shade so for me this wouldn't be my everyday shade but um, the makeup connoisseur that I am I um, just love trying new stuff out so um, this is definitely different and it's not as like beaming um, I don't know why I put that on my nose it's not like a, that um, beaming or crazy I don't know if you guys can tell um, on my camera um, if it's picking that shade up but this does retail for 26 bucks this is nice to have because just playing in makeup in general and stuff so um the next thing we have which is i think the favorite like the item that i'm most excited about um that um that dose of colors is in the box and it's their eyeshadow palette and the one that i got is the baked browns um which is right up my alley like this couldn't be more perfect. Um, this does retail for $32. I have never tried a dose of colors. Let me know. Well, I have never tried their eyeshadow palette. I have a ton of like their liquid lipsticks and stuff, but um, I've never tried their eyeshadow. So I'm super excited to try it out. Um, it does come with a small little definer brush and these are the colors and it has a mirror in it and yeah let's play with this i don't know let's try the brush out okay so let's uh, jump right into um these shades i want to go in with uh deserted and that's the second shade and i love that this comes with a mirror whoa but that is a lot of fallout you guys so be prepared for some fallout but um follow with me is okay as long as i kind of just tap away that excess so we're gonna put this in the crease and this is a cute little brush um, it's super soft and it was able to blend the shade out really really quickly I'm not gonna go too too crazy with this I think I'm just gonna keep it just um, just like maybe with two or three colors. The next shade I'm gonna go with is Outdoorsy, which is the third middle shade. And I'm gonna apply this to my um, lid. And this is so nice because these are for sure some fall colors. And I feel like this palette is such an, you know, easy, out the door on the go if you're the on the go type of person and stuff okay and then I think I'm gonna darken it up with let's use let's use cherry wood cherry wood looks like a deep maroony shade and I'm gonna apply that as well on my lid shade oh these colors build up so so nice Okay, so I finished up my eyes. I pretty much just did everything that I um, did on the upper lid, on the lower, and just smoked it out. Such a fall look. I just need to put some mascara on. But let's move on to the next product um, that I got. And I got the Iconic London Lip Plumping 
um, gloss and the shade that I got is nearly nude and this retails for $26 so I'm super excited because I've never tried um, Iconics um, glosses or anything like that so let's try this out all right this color is really really pretty it's almost like a peachy a peachy nude uh, the Dofa Avocator is very flimsy so it kind of moves to the motion of like kind of where I want it to go and it does have like a, a light smell of like a menthol kind of smell and it doesn't have like too much pigmentation so this is really cute and I really like the packaging of this this is really nice my lips are starting to feel a tad bit tingly, but that's okay. I expect that because it's a lip plumping um, situation. So um, let me give you guys my final thoughts on this month's BoxyCharm. Okay, so I know I came back with a hat because I am obsessed with my hat. So I figured it just ties in all together with like, the browns and stuff and just like the fall vibes so obsessed with my hat that I got at TJ Maxx so TJ Maxx finds but anyways um about this month's boxy charm I really enjoyed the um the palette from dose of colors but just to be warned has a shit ton of fallout like so 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 I mean so much so um when you're tapping your brush if you don't want a big mess on your desk tap it on the floor or you know just like tap it somewhere else not on your clothes either because it's gonna get everywhere and it's always a pain when it gets everywhere so we don't want that love the gloss um that is one of the things that i love right now like my lips feel so cooling and i love the color so good so, so far, I feel like this box is like pretty all right. So I'm going to go ahead and leave everything down below in my description bar. If you guys are interested in a boxy charm, I have a link um, if you want to use my referral code. Um, and let me know what you guys got in your boxy charm. Are you excited about your box for this month that you got? Or are you super excited for next month's box? Because I think I'm more excited for next month's box. This box was like pretty good, but I think I'm be pumped for the month of november so yeah okay so um so yeah you guys um, i hope you enjoyed today's video give me a big thumbs up be sure to comment something down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well and i'll see you guys with another video bye guys